Hey, what's going on guys? This is Slime Boss here. Welcome back to some more Super Mario 64 DS. Last time we started off Womp's Fortress, and today we're going to be finishing Womp's Fortress, uh, I think. So this one is fall onto the caged island. So all we have to do is grab this guy, and we get our friend the owl. Who's there? Who woke me up? Is it daylight, or should, it, should I be sleeping? It's still daylight. I should be sleeping. Hey! As long as I'm awake, why not take a short flight with me? In standard note, press B to hold on, release B to let go. I'll take you wherever you want to go, as long as my wings uh, hold out. Watch my shadow and grab on. Sounds good. So this is probably one of the more infamous stages in Super Mario 64 because, you know, it's the a very, very small and remote island here. Um, in, Super Mario, in the original playthrough, I did not have a problem with this, and... Any other time I played Mario 64, I've never had a problem with it until I played it in 3D All-Stars. It was the first time I genuinely had a problem with this star. But this time... Not so much. Uh, this game is made about 30 million times easier. Uh, by adding that whole... That whole island is completely changed now. Anyway, blast away the wall. Quite, quite simple, quite the simple stage. Uh, this is the stage I was mentioning the other episode, last episode, that I wanted to do instead of this one because I'm pretty sure that the owl only appears on that level and any level, um, any level before that. When I was a kid, uh, this stage, or so any level after that, sorry. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to think that you had to hit this and then this, but no, all you have to do is hit this. Um... Uh, is this some kind of Mandela effect? What's going on here? I think that should have broke. But essentially what you have to do is hit the corners and they should break. In Super Mario 64, the star sort of like clips out of it. But in this game, it's not there yet until you break it. And the cutscene appears of the star appearing. So I kind of wonder... No, not that. Come on. Turn the camera the other way. Okay, I wonder if I can, like... Uh, no, I can't. Oh, well, it's fine. We'll just climb to the top and then fall down. Not that hard. Although it was the one of the stages that gave me the most trouble. One of the parts that gave me the most trouble in this stage from the 100 coin star. Don't know why, but it did. There we go. Got the star. Hitbox... Very forgiving. Alright, 18 stars to our name. What else does Womp's Fortress have for us? Switch star of the fortress. Which, unfortunately, I don't think that we can do. If I'm not mistaking, oh, maybe we can. Here we go. Switch star activated, and we run, and we die. I'll meet you back there. All right, let's go, 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 go. Can we make it? There we go. We did it. Power star number 19 is ours. And there's only one star for us to get. Not here, though. I believe we got everything in Womp's Fortress. Yes, we did. That's our first area that we're actually able to complete. But, huh. Weird. By zooming in, looking up at the sky, we unlock. Welcome to the question mark switches of the rainbow tower. Step on the question mark switch at the top and inside the rainbow ring. When you trigger all the switch, trigger the switch, all of the question mark blocks you'll find will become solid. You have to hit them to see what's inside. So yeah, there's something a little bit different with this game. So 
uh, in the original game, there's three switches for you to get. One red, one blue, one, gr uh, one green. In this game, there's only one switch, and there's only... Wow. I'm gonna have to start over. There's only one switch and one type of block. By pushing this block... Alright, well, there you go. You stepped on the question mark switch. The question mark blocks become solid. Hit them to see what comes out. Do you want to save? Yeah. So, well, I, we have to restart this level anyway. Uh, this question mark block gives us... With wings on his cap, Mario takes to the sky. Shibble jump to take off with a crouch and to land. In standard mode, press the D-pad up or down to descend up and down. Ready for takeoff? So yeah, we get the wing. And the wing is a very common item. But usually in the original game... In the original game, that was what the red cap switch did for you. In this game, it's a little bit different. The red cap or the red switch is every single one. And also another thing, it's not a Wait, I think I missed one already. Okay, there we go. No, stop it. Uh It's not a cap anymore. It's uh just wings. Um but the red switch it uh, takes control of all the switches and what's new is that there's three items in total that can come out of those the wing the power flower and I'm pretty sure that's it the wing and the power flower the wing is an exclusive item to Mario and also we just got the star Mario is the only one that can take control of the wing But the Power Flower is able to be collected by all of the characters. We'll get to the, their distinctive power-ups when we get to them. And with that, we have collected 20 stars. Next time on Mario 64 DS, we'll be finishing Bob-omb Battlefield as we now have the ability to finish that level. See you guys then.